Hello and welcome to the Successful Garden Design Show. In this episode, we're going to look at how you create stunning autumnal planting as yes, it's that time of year again. If you're frustrated your garden doesn't look as beautiful as it could, even though you've purchased lots of lovely plants, then help is at hand. Plants are not enough. You have to have a good design layout. And when you combine design with the beauty of plants, that's when the magic really happens. It's our mission here at Successful Garden Design to show you how to do it, and it's much easier than you may think. I'm Rachel Matthews and I've been a professional international garden designer for over 25 years and I teach garden design online. Now there's often a misconception that if you have a garden that looks good during the autumn and winter months then it probably doesn't look as good during the summer months because the autumn foliage and flowering plants that you've incorporated into the garden take away from having plants that flower in the summer. Well, that doesn't have to be the case. If you choose your planting very carefully, you can get plants that look good all year round. But before we go into looking in depth at the planting, I want to discuss design with you because that's the secret that is the real key to creating a garden that looks good all year round. Now, this garden is the Marks Hall Garden and Arboretum in, um, near Coggeshall in Essex. And as you can see from this garden, it's got a very strong contemporary design and it's quite unusual to find gardens with such a good contemporary design. Now you can see it's not the best time of year for it. The walls have got a little bit um, aged and weathered. But if you look at the design shapes that are used, visually they carry you through the entire garden. And what the planting does is it accentuates the shapes that the design uh, shapes have already created. So that backbone of structure is what is making or giving a backdrop for the planting. And that's really vital if you want your garden to look good all year round. And what they've done so successfully is to put the grasses in this garden and several other plants like the purple flowered asters. And they are strong enough to carry through the colour with the autumnal foliage colours through the entire garden. And then different sections have different highlight plants, like there's the taller purple verbena mixed in with the grasses and the asters. And all this does is accentuates the shapes of the design, but with colour and with the softness of planting. And that's really critical to get right in the garden if you want it to look good all year round. Now, I've visited this garden many times and it looks good all year round. Um, it really doesn't matter when you visit it. There's always something of interest. And that's quite tricky to do. You really have to be very considered with the planting you use. But as I say, it's the design structure that is the real key. So before you run off and buy a load of plants from the garden centre, whatever time of year it is, always think about your structure of design first. Because if you get the design layout right, then you're 60% uh, to the way of having a created a great garden. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I do run some free online fast track garden design classes. So just head on over to successfulgardendesign.com forward slash free classes and you can attend um, whichever class suits your garden. We break them up into long gardens and then wide and square and awkward shaped gardens because depending on the shape of your garden, not the size, but the shape, you need to do different things with the design. And when I say design, it doesn't have to be as bold and contemporary as this one. It can be subtle as well. Um, they've done some quite interesting experiments with um, this like kind of lawn bunker and the path and this kind of thing, which works really well in this garden. But if this isn't your cup of tea, it doesn't have to be as designery as this space is. Good design should be practical and this one is a bit more fun because I can't imagine what a nightmare mowing that mound would be. So don't worry about thinking that design is going to be something weird and wacky. It can be but it doesn't have to be. Good design structure works regardless of where you live in the world and what type of garden you have. So that's what we cover in our fast track garden design course. So anyway, back to this garden with the um, 
great planting. Now this is the walled garden at the um, Marks Hall Garden and Arboretum. But what well, they've also got, as you can imagine, with an estate garden, it's not all hard landscaped and designed like this. They've got the parkland, but equally been well designed. Uh, you'll see here from this plan the way the shapes interweave with the path here. They've got a nice sort of interesting curved shapes going through. But if you look at the colour dots, you can see they have repeat planted. So that continuous curve has got lots of repeat planting around, which draws the eye through the rest of the design. So even in the areas that haven't been designed quite as um, intensely as the walled garden, they're still looking good. So you can see it helps with an estate garden like this because you've got large ponds and lake areas which mirror back the planting. So it's almost cheating when you've got a wonderful landscape like this because it carries you through and mirrors everything with the water so you kind of get a double effect and having such a spacious um, area you can afford to do the repeat planting much more easily than you can in a tiny garden but don't overlook repeat planting even if you have a very small garden it's still worth doing because it brings continuity to the design and landscape and you can see it's very effective here and one other tip for creating stunning autumn and winter planting schemes is don't forget the trees because they can have amazing hits of colour in the autumn months. And um, if it's not too gale force winds, hopefully the leaves will stay on for as long as possible to give you that hit of colour. And then when combined with the grasses, that just extends the time period that the garden is going to look good in. So I thought I'd show you an example of a garden that uses the principles we've just looked at of how to have a planting scheme that looks good all year round. Now this is Beth Chateau's garden in Colchester in Essex and this is her world famous gravel garden. Now this is how it looked in July and obviously any garden in July is going to win hands down compared to how it's going to look in the winter. But if we have a look at how this garden looks in November as you can see, the purple verbena are not quite so floriferous, but there is still the structure and it still looks pretty good. So back to the vibrance of July. But actually what stands out the most, other than the fact there's more flowers, it's actually the light intensity and the colours of the plants. They're lusher, more lime, and um, that seems to be the biggest difference. You can see the difference in colour in the foliage. The plants actually look cold at this time of year and the lack of light levels certainly makes a difference. But the form and structure is still there. So back to July again and yes, of course it's going to look better than it does in November. But it does show you if you get the planting right, it can look good all year round no matter what time of year. And the longer, for me as a designer, the longer I can get a garden to look good, the better job I feel I've done. And it, it's, as I say, it's not as hard as you think it is, but you do have to put a lot of thought into the design in the first place and even more thought into the planting. Now, if you'd like help with that, we've got some fantastic online garden design courses. Our best course is the Great Garden Formula that takes you through everything you need to learn step by step in order to design to a professional level quickly and easily. And our planting course, the Plant Design Formula, goes through everything you need to know to be able to combine plants properly. And it also includes a plant database. So you can search through the plants to see what's going to grow in your area area and what time of year it flowers. So if you head on over to successfulgardendesign.com forward slash courses, you'll see all the garden design courses that we do. So until next time, take care.